Hey everyone, welcome to The Nose Knows. My name's Daniel, thanks for tuning in today. We have a big launch to talk about today. It is the new scent from Creed. It's called Viking. I did a first impressions of this review back in July off of a couple smells from a little ceramic square that I got to smell. Creed was really nice and generous to send me a sample a couple weeks ago to try, and I just wanted to wait and wear it a couple times so I could give you guys a really good, well-rounded review of exactly my thoughts on the fragrance. So you can see this is my 100 milliliter bottle. This is what Viking looks like. It's a pretty cool bottle. It has a different size and shape top than some of the earlier Creed bottles. What I first noticed when I spray this fragrance is a real nice freshness mixed with sort of a peppery spiciness. And the, the top notes are my favorite in this scent. Every time I put it on, whether it's on my, my wrist or my chest or anywhere on my body, I get this kind of zestiness and then all of a sudden, about a minute in, I get this rush of peppermint that is really, really, really nice. So that's um, the top notes. And a lot of people have asked me, why are these fragrances so expensive? And why do people pay, like this bottle is almost $500. Why do people pay so much for a fragrance? And it's really two reasons. One, the methods that Creed uses to make their scents are in the ancient old world style. Some of the methods that they use to extract the oils have been around for thousands of years and they take a long time. Sometimes an essence will be sitting for months at a time to extract all the oils out of it. It's also done by hand. So they're paying people in France to do all this manual labor. So it takes time and it takes a lot of labor. And pretty much every other big fragrance house nowadays has made it a lot more, um, you know, cheaper. To make the fragrances they have not that the quality is not good in other fragrances but you know they use methods that aren't so time consuming and so labor intensive so that's one reason that creed's really expensive two another reason that people pay the price for creed is that they want to smell different from everyone else they don't want to get a fragrance and they don't want to smell like a fragrance that you can get at any store you know on a shopping district in any department store in any specialty fragrance store or beauty store like sephora or ulta they want something that is hard to come by that not everyone's going to smell like and they pay a premium price to do that because they want to be unique you know scent is one of the most personal things and it's also the sense that is linked most closely to our memories so when you smell something you immediately remember when you smelled it. So people that want to be remembered by their scent and want to stand out, wear fragrances like Creed, like other niche lines that you can't get everywhere and one that not a lot of people are wearing. So those are the reasons that people pay the price for Creed and why it's so expensive. That being said, let's talk about the actual fragrance of Viking. The notes are as follows, and this is right off of the Creed website. Calabrian Bergamot, for, uh, please forgive me if I'm not pronouncing all of these right. Sicilian Lemon. Pink peppercorn, regular peppercorn, Bulgarian rose, peppermint, Indian sandalwood, Haitian vetiver, Indian patchouli, and lavadine absolute, which is like uh, lavender absolute. So those are the notes. So it does have rose, it does have lavender, but really what I get from this fragrance is a spiciness and uh, a zestiness mixed with the cool pepper, uh, peppermint on top and a little bit of the florals. It's a really nice scent. To me, it smells like a fougere, which is a classic men's type of fragrance, normally consisting of oak moss, lavender, and um, oh my. It's of oak moss, coumarin, and lavender. So it does have that lavender aspect, and it sort of has that kind of the oak mossy feel with the sandalwood and vetiver. So I feel like it's this really classic men's fragrance. It's not at all like a Ventus. And thank God that they're not trying to just make an Aventus 2.0. Nothing compares to this fragrance. Nothing is going to come close. You can't make a fragrance like this. If people could design a fragrance that, this was, that was this groundbreaking and, and this successful, you would see huge launches every year from every fragrance house doing that. This was sheer luck and sheer artistry. I mean, it's, it's awesome. And I'm glad that they're not trying to just like be like, oh, it's Aventus kind of, but different. It's totally its own scent. Viking is totally its own scent. And... If I had to compare it to an actual fragrance, like Creed's comparing it to Spice and Wood and Original Santal, which I definitely see those comparisons. It is spicy woody, it does kind of have that warm lushness. But to me, if I would compare it to a Creed fragrance, I would say Green Irish Tweed. Not that they smell at all alike, 
they don't smell similar but i feel like these two were almost like twins that were separated at birth and grew up in totally different cultures green irish tweed of course is refined it has that iris that violet is really nice it feels kind of um tailored or sartorial it's very it's like a tweed suit it's crisp but it's masculine it has a smooth strength a smooth masculinity to it viking also the dry down very smooth very masculine this twin grew up in a nordic seafaring culture maybe they were pillaging they were living a life of adventure on the open seas traveling getting the resources they needed it smells like spices it smells like dried fruits but it, at the end of the day it has that smooth masculine dry down i feel like people who like this and like that masculine essence of a fragrance would really like viking even though they don't smell alike to me the ideal person wearing this would wear both of these this is going to be my more summer spring men's scent when i want to feel like a very traditional uh, upscale masculine scent i would wear this this for me is fall winter though you could wear this in fall winter and this in spring summer they're not really uh, necessarily you can't wear them during any season but i feel like this one's more of a fresh spring summer this is more of a fall winter what else do i want to say about creed biking it just there's something about the way that creed makes their fragrances and i think it has to do with the way that they draw out their materials it just has a certain smoothness that you don't find in any other fragrances and even though it is definitely like a classic men's cologne smell it doesn't smell like anything else on the market that i can think of when i first smelled it it definitely smelled unique and the top notes especially with that peppermint are very very unique and very well blended so that's my review of creed viking also want to talk quickly about projection and longevity Projection is medium in the beginning. It becomes closer. It's not a skin scent. If someone's in your space, they will smell you. Um, interestingly, with longevity, I for many times wore it here on my chest. I would smell it for the first hour. After about an hour, I wouldn't notice the scent anymore, and I thought it had kind of gone away, though people would notice it on me. Yesterday, I tried it on my wrist, and this is why I wanted to try it many times before I gave a review. I tried it on my wrist. Obviously, when it's on your chest, you're smelling it pretty constantly. On your wrist, it, you're not always smelling it. So every 30 minutes or so, I would check in with the scent. It lasted strongly for eight hours plus. I sprayed it at two o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. 10 o'clock, I was at home smelling it. It was still very strong. I didn't even have to put my nose right up to my skin. It still had a presence. So I think longevity on this, on my skin, is very good. It's just one of those that if you're wearing it here and you can smell it all the time, you are not going to notice it all day because you're going to get used to it. But uh, I had great longevity and people noticed it, like I said, when they were in my space. I think it's so complex. There's a lot going on in it and there's a lot of that vetiver and sandalwood. If it was so big and announced itself, it would be overpowering. So I'm glad that it's not too loud. And that's why I think it's a great winter scent. Bundled up in layers as you take off a coat at a party or you're in the office, it'll gently uh, diffuse into the room and into your space. So that's my review for Creed Viking. If you would like a bottle, you can email me. I work at Nima Marcus and I can get a bottle for you. I always give great service. I will treat you with respect and kindness and I am very generous with my samples. I like to include samples from Creed and other lines. Uh, when you make a purchase, you can try a lot of these great niche scents that you otherwise may not get to smell. So please feel free to reach out to me via email. I'm also on Instagram and Snapchat and I would love to talk to you there. I want to come full circle and read a couple comments from some of my recent videos just to connect with you guys, my viewers. It's always nice to uh, come back and read some comments in the videos. So first from um, my good friend and subscriber Brock Royston commented on the Aqua uh, Di Parma Colonia Pura video a couple weeks ago. He said, I'm so excited about this one. Aqua Di Parma is so beautiful. Also, it's addictive. The accompanying bath products are amazing. Great review. Thank you, Brock. Um, it's true, the new Aqua de Parma Pura is a great kind of different take on the classic Colonia. It is like if Colonia or a, a regular Italian fresh scent went to the Italian Alps for vacation. It has a nice mineral quality to it. And it's true, Aqua de Parma has the best, best bath products for guys. They have a full line of powders and soaps, shampoo, conditioner. I don't know any other men's line that has that many ancillary products. Most of that is normally reserved for more feminine women's scents. So I love Aqua de Parma for that. And thank you, Brock. Um, 
Another comment on the Gabrielle Chanel giveaway. If you want to win a bottle of the new Gabrielle Chanel fragrance, head on over to my full review video, leave a comment, you'll be entered to win Gabrielle Chanel. Um, Paul Stanton says in his comment, great review, Daniel. I like your style of how you cover a product in depth. Keep up the reviews, especially the Creed lineup. Uh, I would love to see if my fiance would like this Gabrielle Chanel fragrance. Best of luck, Paul. You are in the contest, and I, I wish you all the best to win that bottle of Chanel. And finally, one last comment on the Oudwood Intense uh, first impressions. And pardon me, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this right. Uh, Abdelkader, uh, Abdelkader uh, says, I'm looking for an Oud fragrance. I like Oud Wood and was going to pick it up, but worried about longevity issues. Don't want anything too strong. I have Gucci Intense Oud and it was too much. What would you recommend? Should I grab Oud Wood or wait for the Intense? Thank you. First time view and first time subscriber. Thank you so much. Um, I did answer, but I just want to address this in the video as well. Um, Oud Wood Intense is a very, very, very strong scent and it doesn't really smell like the Oud Wood original. It's its own scent. It's kind of like Oud Wood, Tuscan Leather had a baby, but there's also a third part, this really sexual animal component that's very deep. So it's truly its own scent. Um, incredibly overpowering, though I like it after it dries down. I would probably um, suggest either Oud Wood from Tom Ford. It's still an awesome scent. I do think it lasted longer when it was in the old bottles with the gold label, to be honest, but the gray bottle, um, it still smells amazing. It's a little smoother now. Or there's another line called uh, Mason Francis Kirkjohn that has five different ouds, and they have one that's just called Oud. It's a great standard Oud. It's not too strong, but it does last a long time on the skin, and they have four other ones to choose from, some of which are extra, so they're a little stronger, but the longevity is awesome. They're super refined, and I think they'll last a little bit longer than the Oud would from Tom Ford. So thank you again for your comment. Um, I'm just about wrapped up. I do want to say one last thing about comments. Um, and this isn't because of me, it's, you know, there's so much going on in the world with hurricanes and earthquakes in Mexico, and there's just so much negativity and sad things happening. So I'd love to encourage everyone to keep the comments positive, not just what you're saying about me on videos, but how we speak to each other. And just think about being respectful and kind. There's so much crap, shit going on in the world nowadays. And I think that if we can treat each other with respect and kindness, that um, it'll make the world a better place because there's enough shit going on out there. So just keep that in mind as you leave your comments. Almost all of them have been respectful and kind, but there's a few. And it just goes with the internet, but I hate to see that when there's so much depressing stuff in the news every day. So uh, I look forward to hearing your comments. And if you need anything, always feel free to email me. I would love to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.